Welcome to HCISD Highlight. I'm Karina Jaimes, and with me today is Victoria Marin. So, Ms. Marin, how does robotics help in the classroom? Robotics really helps in the classroom by allowing them to learn leadership skills, to allow them to learn um, how to collaborate with their peers. So they're able to do that in robotics, and since we have a smaller group, we're able to really emphasize what it means to collaborate with each other, and they're able to take that back in the classroom and teach the other peers. How do you make robotics interesting for students at such a young age? So we like to incorporate visuals, um, things like little videos so they can see um, exactly what we're talking about. We also, one of the fun things that we got to do this year is we took them outside. So they got to connect a lot of what they were seeing, what we were teaching them, but being able to see and talk about it and seeing what they see in their community and in their neighborhood every day, um, they got to connect that. Where, like, where does the electricity come from? How does it travel? What are the things that we've learned about in robotics and seeing in the activity book that now we get to see outside? And so connecting those two allows for them to really make that connection and to bring those two pieces together. Do they compete at an early age? And if so, where have they competed? Um, so they do not get to compete right now at this age, but they do get to showcase their project that they work on and they get to um, present it. What is one of the big projects you've worked on this year? So this year we're working on energy. We're talking about that a lot and the source where it's stored. And so getting to um, talk about those little things in, um, with energy and then they also um, get to build their own project. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today, Ms. Marine. That's a wrap for HCISD Highlight. I'm Karina Jaimes. Until next time.